Johnny Wharf along with Coach Bill Boner of uh, Marietta High School and, and longtime uh, coach and, of course, uh, the athletic director when I was there. And, and maybe I, for our, our listeners, I would like to first congratulate you on being inducted into this year's Hall of Fame class, uh, Coach. And, and maybe for our listeners, you can give us a little background about uh, how you got into uh, administration and coaching and when it all started and, and you know what drove you to that. Oh, boy. <laughs> I had to start way back when, John. We only had uh, three sports at uh, high school, and uh, we did most of our uh, competition uh, among the uh, schools there in the valley up at Belair. And we didn't do much traveling. It was uh, the war years back back in the uh, early 40s, and uh, we traveled by train, streetcar, and yellow ground. That's how we got around uh, and, uh, at high school. And then we did most of our whole, oh, we belonged to the OVAC, and they did most of the, most of the uh, scheduling, probably. I didn't, I didn't play around with that stuff. It was up to the coaches. Yeah, well, you know, we, we think about those years, as you, as you mentioned them, the, the war years, so maybe for our listeners, I know you went to New Orleans, I think, to Tulane, and, and then jumped, you know, into the Navy. Maybe touch a little bit on that. All right. Uh, after graduation from high school, uh, I went to uh, Tulane for four years and uh, graduated in 51. And uh, there's a lot of good memories down there. We, we don't have that, that much time here. But anyway, uh, after the uh, two late years, I went to the Navy for four years and uh, was stationed at the Bainbridge for uh, 28 months. Then I was transferred to uh, Little Creek. Uh, we in the, I was in the Beach Jumper Unit 2. It was a diversionary uh, outfit. And uh, 56, uh, I was uh, discharged. You know, most folks uh, around here uh, know you as uh, the football coach for so many years and, and, you know, a great winning percentage as a football coach. I was here, you know, in school when you were the athletic director and a very good one, I might add. And and yet we don't know much about um, you as a, a football player or a baseball player, but the accolades are pretty tall, particularly um, that I see it from college. Well, uh, I was fortunate that I uh, escaped some injuries uh, in uh, college, and uh, was pretty fortunate I had some good coaches. We I played on some pretty good teams. Uh, we played Notre Dame a couple of years. We didn't do too good one year, but uh, down New Orleans it was a close ball game, and we participated in the Southeastern Conference. That was uh, oh, Alabama and Georgia Tech at that time. Georgia Tech was in it. And and Georgia and uh, Vanderbilt, and we played U.S. Navy all the way. And uh, I was uh, fortunate, like I said, I escaped some injuries there in, uh, in uh, college. But I had uh, my injuries there in the, in the service ball. One I uh, got a knee dislocated, but other than that, I was. I was all right. Yeah, the service ball would have been in Navy, both football and baseball. And then also, you know, contract offers from from NFL, the Baltimore Colts, and, and, and also uh, the Pirates, right? Yeah, I was uh, I signed with uh, Pittsburgh Pirates after, uh, after I graduated from uh, college and uh, played uh, about a half a season with uh, Salisbury in the North Carolina uh, State League. And... Uh, that's what I, after I went, I got into the service after that, after the uh, half a season with uh, uh, Pittsburgh, and they, they said I was going to go to B-ball, and uh, that was a pretty big jump for me, but uh, I was drafted, out. well, I wasn't drafted, I was listed in the Navy at the time, and uh, I was supposed to go to B-ball. Coach Bill Boner is our guest in the 2000 and. 17 induction class into the Merida High School Athletic Hall of Fame, and, and that'll add to a Bel Air High School Athletic Hall of Fame and a Mid-Ohio Valley Hall of Fame honors that have already been bestowed upon him along with MVP awards in football and baseball while he was in the Navy. Uh, Coach Boner, this is probably the most unfair question you can ask a guy, uh, but if you look back, um, any, you know, the great athletes, coaches, does any any one or two pop out in your mind? Oh, 
Yeah, we had a, my roommate at college was uh, George Kitty. He, uh, he was a real good running back from Allentown, Pennsylvania, and uh, he and I got along real good, and uh, he played a couple of years in pro ball with the, uh, that's when the Cardinals was in Chicago, I think. But uh, then Don Joyce from uh, Steubenville, he played with the Baltimore Colts. He was, uh, I was with him down at uh, Tulane. In fact, he and I went down there at the same time. But uh, he, he stayed in the summer, and see, he was eligible to play uh, uh, varsity ball uh, that fall. But uh, I came home, and uh, uh, my dad got me the dirtiest job in the steel mill over with Benwood, and I was ready to go back in the fall. So that's what happened uh, in between me coming home, and uh, I got a little homesick down there, and uh, my dad fixed me up real good. I didn't want any part of that steel mill. That's good. What about uh, any old tigers come to mind when you when you drift back in your mind? Oh, the uh, Bark Boys. Uh, they were real good backs, uh, to say the least. And uh, they uh, they stayed away from the injury uh, uh, situation. Very good. I, I remember Mark Basley up at Zanesville. Uh, he had the, one of the hardest hits I'd ever seen a back pick. It was on a Punderby turn, and I thought, I've talked to him lately, and uh, he he didn't forget it, and I didn't forget it either. It was uh, it was a real good hit, and uh, right in the right at the chest, and uh, he said he was on the ground. And he was trying to get his breath, and he couldn't get his breath even. And uh, it was a, it was a good hit, and. Uh, one of the hardest hit I've seen in high school. All right, and then lastly, Coach, um, just talk a little bit about uh, this honor going in into the Hall of Fame for Marietta High School. Oh, I uh, I am very grateful for the uh, honor, and uh, I want to thank the uh, the committee, and, and I want to well, I had uh, good material. Of course, it was lean sometimes, but uh, you have to pick the, pick the good with the bad. And I had some uh, good assistance, and uh, we got along real good. And uh, like I say, we win some, you lose some. And like the guy said, the sun will come up tomorrow. All right, Coach uh, William L. Boner into this year's induction class of the Merida High School's third annual Athletic Hall of Fame induction ceremonies will be October 21st this year, 2017, at the Quality Inn.